We are in Lake Como and we just have one day, but we want to enjoy this day to the fullest. So our plan is to go to Bellagio early so that we can explore this town without the crowds. And after we will get some e-bikes to get around this beautiful Lake Como. And of course we will enjoy the best Italian food. Look how cheesy it is. This is it guys. We have our dessert with us. Back in Italy. And maybe we also find some hidden gems. It's really difficult to find in Google Maps, so we were lucky with some locals. And later, after a beautiful day of cycling around Lake Como, we will find the best sunset points in Lake Como. So we are in Bellagio and it is early morning. We want to be here before the crowds to enjoy the city to the fullest because when there are crowds, like um, nothing is that pretty anymore. Guys, this is uh, where we were this morning. We're just one minute in and look at this. Like this whole big line of beautiful trees with flowers and we are the only ones. So our first tip, go early to explore Bellagio. I think at least be way before nine and then later you can enjoy your Italian breakfast. Guys, we are exploring this place in peak July. So it is, of course, peak season for tourists, but it's also really warm. So in the afternoon, it could get around 35, 36 degrees. So warm now that we stop for a nice milkshake. This is it, guys. We have our dessert with us. And that's why we're also planning to see as many things as possible in the morning. So, Mira, are you happy with your photo? Uh, we are in this street in Bellagio. And it's so amazing, it's so pretty, and we are almost alone. So now we are also looking for some nice breakfast place. Mm. Because obviously if you know Italy, you would know the Nutella croissant. Oh, oh. and of course the coffee. And the coffee is just Italian Next breakfast. Level. You can dream about it for a year. We did, like last year we <laughs> were in Italy. One year long we were talking about the Italian breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> and we are going to search for the best croissant in this Bellagio. 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 Is Dutch people, <laughs> they say G -g. Bellagio. It's Bellagio. Really. <laughs> so don't get confused, guys. So after exploring the beautiful town, we are a little bit higher. We took a bus to get here because we also want to rent bicycle. Because that can be really cool to just go around with the e-bikes to all different cities as well. So these two are our bikes. Our rides for today. And it's really handy, this place they offer uh, shuttles from Como, or mm -hmm. Bellagio. Bellag so if you're staying in the city, then you can order a shuttle and they bring you here. Uh, but you can also go with the bus in a little walk, but it uh, looks good. <laughs> Cannot imagine riding this uphill without an e-bike. Really, e-bikes are the future. Amazing. And you can even do it with a dress. So if you want to look pretty on your, on your bicycle, just take a dress. So now we are going to a little beautiful town called Nesso. And let's see how that town looks. The roads can get quite busy sometimes. So if you're not an experienced cyclist, I wouldn't recommend to do it. If you're not a cycling fan, don't worry. You can get a day pass for the ferry and with this pass you can explore almost all the villages around Lake Como. We'll share with you the most beautiful town to visit in our upcoming video. So subscribe and hit the bell button and you'll be first one to be notified when the video goes online. For now, let's get back to cycling. What are you doing Mira? Some stretching? My biggest fear and it happened to me once as a child is that your shoelaces get into your uh, peddler. And uh, it's really scary because you get lounged, because your feet get stuck. Look at this view guys. Bakery or the pastisseria. I think we'll take a lot, maybe. We were really hungry, we didn't have breakfast for like so long. Second coffee for today. Mm. Oh, it's strong. It is. Maybe we need some extra water. <laughs> First bite of the croissants. Mm. Mm. Back in Italy. So we had a little bit of problem. So I got the Nutella croissant and Mira got a chocolate croissant. Chocolate, I don't know but how. Like really cheap, ugh, really not nice chocolate. So if you go here, make sure you ask for the Nutella croissants. Yeah, but the, they had also other varieties, but the staff was not that friendly. So Mira didn't go and ask for no, any other like, It's really not a nice place. I don't get the good reviews. So we will search for a better place to get Italian breakfast. We promise that. So where are we going, Mira? 
we go into a place and this place was one of the reasons why i wanted to go to lake como i saw this picture and i thought wow this is so pretty so i'm really curious how it is in real life you know like here at the bridge in Nesso and I've seen photos from this bridge and it looks so pretty but uh, yeah there are too many people now for the pretty photos but still it's like really magical place and if you come come I'll show you something else yeah and here there is a waterfall yes we were not the only one who decided to visit this bridge but we decided to come back the next morning and luckily we had the whole place for ourselves so guys, if you're a swimming fan, you can get your swimming clothes and swim there. And the coolest thing is the <laughs> waterfall is coming from a glacier, so it's really cool there. It's not that warm. It's like the perfect place even to sit and chill. It's yeah. really nice. So now we're gonna go get on the bike and explore the next village because <gasps> there's, some there's something really cool. <laughs> If we find it, if we really find it. So we decided to go around with the bicycle, but of course you can also take the boat to explore the lake. And I think that's maybe the best way. But if you're just with two persons like us, then it's not really a budget option to do. Look at the village. Look at this guy. I think you have to stop somewhere for lunch. Here at least we have some shadow, but wow, it's so warm. <laughs> So it is, I think, uh, 36 degrees, but, so <laughs> but it's really nice if you're riding your e-bike and it's uh, not that bad. And look, we're going through some nice forest. We reached to the village Fajeto Lario, where we had to find the hidden gem. But honestly, we had no clue where to surf. Luckily, we found some local kids and they navigated us to the place. So we are being escorted by two Italian boys and see if we could find the place. <laughs> yeah, they didn't know any English, so no. they just were just like follow us and they, I it's think, escorted us for like 500 meters. Yeah, it's really nice because first they wanted to go off a stairs and they're like, but bike, bicycle, you know, I cannot have go from the stairs. Oh, and then they went all around to go here. So friendly, it's super warm and they were just running kind of. Yeah. <laughs> really but nice. yeah, we found the place, we it's this place. one. And let's show you what's inside. Looks like it's warm. Oh, wow. Oh my god. Okay, Look. first first we tell. If you guys know what it is, comment down below. What is it? Whoa. Like this is the art. The art of Vino. This is a wine press little factory where you sort of, they were, the men were moving the whole screw to crush all the grapes here in this thing. They were all sort of poured down through here into big barrels. That's what you think. Yeah. Here where they pushing, 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 and they say especially women were doing this. A strong species of our uh, mankind. Italiano woman. Humankind. And uh, this whole machine is from 1572. It's Whoa, crazy. Oh, that is really old, man. I don't, it, like, when did beer, for example, be invented? And it's really difficult to find in Google Maps. So we were lucky with some locals, but you just have to type this address in Google Map and it's going to take, take you there. Oh, guys, now we are going to Bellagio to return our bikes. Because I think we had way much fun on these bikes and it's really, really warm. I think uh, on the bike when you're cycling you yeah. have this wind so it's really doable like if you would walk now walking is not it's no you fun can't, you can't. look at this guy this is where we stay how cool is this place so after a bicycle ride we were quite dirty so we came back to our Airbnb just took a shower really cozy place and it's what 10 minutes away from Bellagio but now after fresh and being freshened up, there's Mira, we are going to Bellagio again for some nice dinner. And also it's around 
five o'clock so it's like a peak tourist time five six seven p.m so we can also show you how different it looks from morning we are back in Balaj here there's more people in the water than on the land so Mira you can come in the shadow let's go in the shadow it's warm there are so many people and why do all these people go out if it's that warm? Like in the you morning, are one of them. Yeah, now, yeah. <laughs> but in the morning, it's just so amazing here in this town. And now it's just... Uh, Chaos. The where we were this morning. Look at it now. So pretty. It's still pretty. Yeah. It doesn't lose its... Uh, charm. Charm. <laughs> this is it, guys. So, guys, meanwhile, we are having ice cream. <laughs> We also recognize that there's a lot of Dutch people here. It's crazy. Like you see cars from the... I think half of the cars are from the Netherlands. <laughs> but why is that and, so weird? Yeah, I always thought the Dutch people would go to Lake Garda. But maybe they have seen it now and they thought let's go to Lake Como. But the ice cream is so nice and we are enjoying it uh, next to this... Uh, Kerk? Church? Is it a church or something? <laughs> church? No clue. No. It's church. And, and in Belagio. Do you realize this is wind? Oh it's yeah. It's really cool wind. We are probably in the going center. To rain yeah. or so. No, 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 no. In the weather report, it said that it should be raining, but it's not. So no. that's pretty good. And yeah, really good gelato because also in here in Italy, a lot of places they say that they are like proper gelateria, but sometimes it's like really hit or miss. So you have to be really careful. We are sitting right on the edge of Bellagio and enjoying the view of this beautiful and endless lake. And that's like, the, yeah, that's the cool thing about Bellagio. You see the whole lake because it's like in the middle. It's yeah, yeah you have to see the shape and you understand. And we are also waiting for our dinner, which starts at seven o'clock. And it's a really good pizza place, hopefully. Hopefully. I was aiming for another pizza place, but uh, all of these places here, they close at least one night a week. Some random night a Some week. Some random so. night. One Wednesday, one another Thursday, the other th Sunday. Uh, so yeah, we'll take that into account. <laughs> Look at this guy. The pizza is here. <laughs> <laughs> Look how cheesy it is. It is a pretty good pizza, guys. And it's all wood fire, so everywhere you go in Italy, everywhere, please check with the restaurant if they have wood fire pizza because some places they also just give the microwave pizza. Okay, maybe this is the worst pizza we had in Italy. It's a little bit expensive place, but pizza is good. Not the best, but it's good. So after some nice pizza, I mean, it's nice for the level of what pizzas are in uh, Lake Como. We are going for some nice dessert. And the weather has cooled down a little bit. And the pizza place is super packed. In one hour, there's already like so many people lining outside. If you're planning to go there, make sure to reserve the places, but you, because you could, or come at seven. Because yeah, if you're hungry and standing outside, it's not fun. Why are you walking like an elephant, Mira? I feel like an elephant, that's the pizza. So we have our dessert with us. Uh, it was a bit of a walk mm -hmm. from the <laughs> dessert place, but we are having this beautiful view of this lake. And the sun is setting on the other side, but we also see the cities, the other villages just changing colors with the sun. So cool. And the crazy part is, I think one hour before everything was super packed, all the streets. And now because everybody's in the restaurants, we had dinner a little bit early. The streets are super empty. This place was super packed and now it's super empty. So that's really cool. So we have the whole place for ourselves. Having... And he's having... He had ice cream, but we had to walk that far. <laughs> that's already like milkshake if you like right <laughs> yeah in the evening it looks even better and now we are going back to our Airbnb 
but we're looking, we are super thirsty too. We're looking for some place to just get some cold drink or Sprite, but we just couldn't find it. There's like no, uh, like there are just two grocery shops. They're pretty far out of town and they close at six or so. They're like really local grocery shops. There's no like a convenience store. A convenience store, that's it's, the worst, uh, yeah. It's just uh, like the place is so touristy that it's just restaurants and every even just a cold drink that sell for like, I think they double the price. Yeah. That was our adventure from 24 hours in Lake Como. However, we enjoyed the Lake Como so much that we decided to stay a bit longer. We visited the most beautiful villages around the lake. Of course, we'll share them with you in our upcoming video. If you don't want to miss them out, please subscribe to our channel and we'll be happy to see you in the next one.